Hey everybody, welcome to another 6-Minute Salesforce. Today, um, we're going to go over some more of the maps, a little bit more in depth, looking at some of the internal functions that maps provide us with. And if you remember from last time, we had a map of people who owe me money, including the famous Don Johnson. So we're going to look at this from inside out now, and we're going to see what kind of functions we get for free from maps. So the first one we're going to look at uh, is essentially listing all of the keys out. All this does is it gives us a way to have a map and figure out what all the keys are inside of it. And it's very helpful. Uh, the method is called key set and it gives us a set of all the keys. We can use that in things like drop down lists and other items of that nature. So if you see right here, we just it's just the keys. It's nothing more than a list of the keys. So let's go back to the code. And now let's change up Don Johnson uh, kind of like we did last time. And we'll give him a little camel case in there. We'll run it again. Let's look at the log. And sure enough, we've got the same casing here. So no matter what you do, the keys and, and the key set will always return the same value that you put in for the key. Uh, case sensitivity again from last time so we're gonna go and change that back now so on to the next function which is to get all the values right so we've got all the keys and I'm gonna kinda comment that out because we don't need it anymore but we've got all the keys and now we want to figure out what all the values are and this one's real simple um, so people that owe me money dot values which is, it's very easy to remember, way easier than key set. And this is just gonna give us a list, again, now we're gonna look at the debug and I'll show you. This is nothing more than just a list of all the values. And you can do normal list things with it too. Um, so you can iterate over these and, and do different things. You can sum them up, which we're gonna do in a second. So now that we've learned these new uh, methods, Let's put them to some good use, right? We've got these methods. Let's see what we can kind of come up with. And the first thing is we're going to check and see if this map is empty. So people that owe me money dot is empty. And that returns a Boolean value. So we want if it's not empty because we're going to do some so a little bit of fancy stuff in here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a list. And that list is going to contain all the values from our uh, from our map and so it's gonna be a list of integers and it's gonna call I'm gonna call it money owed and it's gonna be all the money that people owe me so it's people that owe me money dot values and that's just gonna go right into the list all those values so now what we're gonna do we're gonna take that list and since it's a list we're just gonna loop over it like we would any other list so for every single item in the list, every integer, uh, we'll call it money, in money owed, and we're going to add all these together, right? So we get essentially a sum of all the money that everyone owes me. So let's make a, an integer up here to store it so that we can uh, system.debug it later. We can put it in the log. Uh, we'll call it uh, total money owed, and we'll start at zero. And then we'll come in here and we'll say total money owed plus equals, because we're adding it to it, uh, money. So every single one that's in there is going to get added to the total money owed. And then right down here, we'll just do a little system.debug and we will log total money owed and we'll see what that comes out to. So let's go over and execute this. And there's our log. Let's see what we got here. So there you go. If you add up these numbers, you'll notice they add up to this number. So, so far so good. Everything checks out. And that's really nothing more than just a simple uh, function of lists. So we take this whole entire list and we just loop over it. And you've probably done that a thousand times. If you haven't, uh, go check out my list video. 
but all you have to do is do this and it's going to add all of them up. So what happens, or what do you think happens, if we take this integer up here and we start to change it, right? Let's say Brian owes me 600 now. What's going to happen? Let's execute it and see what happens. Debug log, there you go. And wouldn't you know it, it changed in there and it changed on the, on the sum as well, just like we would have expected. So nothing odd going on here. This is very simple, um, kind of normal stuff. Normal addition happens here when you loop over everything. And there you have it. So let's talk about a little bit more. There's another function in here, and we're going we're gonna to cover it. I'm going to go over it, but that's okay. Uh, it's not going to be by much. We're going to delete this here, and let's imagine that Don Johnson doesn't owe me money anymore. Uh, he's, he's paid his dues, and I'm trying to wipe this slate clean with him. Uh, we're trying to get our friendship back on track, because he's owed me this money for a long time, since the 80s. So let's do um, if, and now we want to check and see if he actually exists in the list, because we don't want to remove him if he doesn't exist. So we're going to check and see if our people that owe me money map contains the key Don Johnson. If it does... And this is important. If it does contain that key, we're going to use the remove function. So people that owe me money dot remove, and then we're going to put the key back in there, Don Johnson. So now it's going to remove him from the map completely. So we're going to, let's remember it's $30 here that he owes me or owed me. So we're going to execute this and let's check out our debug log. And you'll notice he's not in there anymore. The 30 isn't in there. And the math, the sum, reflects that. So that's it for the slightly more advanced version of maps. I'll probably do one more and we'll put it in a Visual Force page. Uh, but I'll see you next time.